I'm the librarian, I'm librarian. and I came, and I to, came read. to read. I just wanted to say really quickly, I was so excited to spend this weekend in Macon, Georgia, attending a few events with the Speak Out HIV Ambassadors and the Georgia Department of Public Health. Justin J had me there and I was there uh, supporting him as he and his partners will be planning out a few uh, outreach events to gay and bisexual men in certain areas of the state. It was really cool being a part of the groundwork and, and supporting the people who are educating the people in charge about what really needs to be going on when it comes to education our community on safe sex and HIV because some people think that you can spread it by sharing drinks and hugging and stuff like that girl a lot of people are stuck in the dark ages so it's really great to be on the ground experiencing the work and those girls are funny they are a trip but they're all about uh, getting their goals met things like this panels speaking at slash hosting events this is where I see my brand growing and these are the type of things I'm passionate about as well so the sky is the limit honestly 2017 just started so we'll see what's in store. So first today I apparently have to get on you rappers. I don't understand how you hoes are out here earning millions and millions of dollars and yet you bitches still think you need to resort to the previous hood ways that you had before. I'm gonna give you that you were in poverty. I'm gonna give you that okay you did not know what the hell was going on. You were not educated on certain issues. But now that your ass is starting to make some money I'm gonna need for you to put some effort into living a better goddamn life. Chief Keith your ass is talking about the bitches love Sosa but apparently so do handcuffs and the feds. If you don't get your ass into a new way of thinking really quickly all this money that your ass has allegedly earned because a new addition is showing us that you bitches can be signed to contracts and not be earning shit and I've been telling you hoes that I don't know why the fuck a lot of you stands are on Twitter talking about oh my fave does it for the music and not just the sales let's be clear on something bitch when you go to work you don't go there just just because you may like what you do bitch but you don't go there just because you love what you do now ho these hoes want to see the money and even if your ass don't want to see the money I best best believe your fucking boss wants to see that money, bitch. So you make believe ass fairy tale ass stands that are talking about, oh my god, my fave, even though she's not selling a lot or he's not selling a lot, he only does it for the music and not the money. Okay, bitch, that's cute for you, but the label is still looking at your ass asking where the goddamn coin is. Okay, uh, Chief Key, for all the money that you allegedly have been earning, there's no reason for your ass and you and your brothers to be out here robbing people. Um, y'all hoes got arrested for our robbery. Like, girl, at this point, y'all bitches need to focus on music. You need to focus on get going to these dusty ass clubs for these appearances. Get a manager who can oversee your finances and shit like that. Since obviously you can't even oversee your own fucking behavior. Get your asses in order, bitch. There are a lot of other things out here. I don't know why you hoes think that you have to keep up this street look, this street vibe and shit like that when there are people out here robbing and stealing when I'm sure they don't want to be. Your ass has the option to use the money that you've earned and reinvest it in the hood and reinvest it in the communities and your family and shit like that. And instead of doing that, your ass is out here robbing, stealing, shooking, and jiving, and jugging and finessing, bitch. I am not here for that shit right now. I'm telling you that shit right now. The only thing, Chief Keith, that I would have permitted you to steal would be maybe a bathtub or a shower head, because, bitch, you are out here serving me homeless teas the way that y'all look so goddamn Dusty. Y'all don't need to be robbed. If the manager from uh, New Edition is currently only paying your ass $1.87, you need to just go ahead and find some type of managerial position at the dollar store. I'm tired of you bitches robbing when you have opportunities to get endorsement deals when you're in these meetings with these big wigs. Help. You bitches need to find something else to do. We're already out here suffering. Please don't add to it. Kodak Black, I don't understand. Before we really get into it, I want to be a little bit shady. For your ass who have accidentally dropped your your phone while periscoping in the shower there's no reason for your ass to be bragging on the fact that this girl is sucking that small peen I'm sorry there's just let's keep it 100 sis you are facing rape charges someone said you have raped them in a hotel and here your ass goes on periscope recording this girl sucking three four five of your brother's dick in a hotel room how smart do you think that is bitch when the same exact situation is what your ass is facing charges for the same thing a woman claiming that she got sexually taken advantage of in a hotel room. Hey, y'all ass is running an oral peen to mouth ass train on this woman. You don't, you just don't think things through. And you even tweeted that. You said, I don't know why I'd be doing the things that I do. Okay, you bitches don't learn until some serious shit happens. First, you show up to the breakfast club with a ski mask on like we don't know that it's your ugly ass behind that hole. And then now you're doing this dumb ass shit. And then y'all be the same one, y'all be the main ones to drag the fuck out of us gay niggas when we wear a crop top or something. When we wear a crop top on your ass, but then y'all be the y'all straight ones be the same one in the room with three, four, five of y'all dicks hanging out around the same woman. I don't understand.
in? What's the tea? What's going on? Is there something that you need to tell us? I don't understand how y'all bitches can be sweaty as fuck, turn on Trey songs and, and turn on the camera and start grinding next to your bros and shit, grinding next to y'all homies for a fucking like on Facebook. And then when we get our gay asses on it and we just utter one word, y'all hoes want to punch us in the face and shit, girl. Y'all hoes do more gay shit than us faggots. Let's be clear on that. Y'all just be fucking the same woman in the same room with y'all dirty drawers just hanging off y'all fucking asses. Five, six y'all crunched up in one hotel room, but if y'all claiming y'all got fucking money, y'all hoes would at least be able to buy two hotel rooms. If y'all claiming y'all spending the racks and stacks that y'all doing y'all songs, bitch, why the fuck six of y'all crammed up into one hotel room? And y'all just think y'all big and bad because it took six of y'all to fuck one woman. Oh shit, yeah, y'all the real pimps now. Oh shit, yeah, no one could do some shit like that. Girl, leave these women alone. I don't even think she knew she was being fucking recorded. Y'all are creepy as fuck. Y'all are weird. If y'all don't go find a flashlight or something or use your hands or fuck the hole in the couch that y'all probably did when y'all were 13, leave these women alone! On a light note, how to get away with snatching my fucking wigs and edges is back. And Scandal is completely here to pull your hair out from the root. Let me tell you something. They was really trying to hide the fact that Curry Washington's beautiful, sexy ass was pregnant, bitch. But girl, I seen the bump. But girl, I seen the bump. And it was no mosquito bump, honey. Bitch, they, they tried to use shampoo. Champagne bottles, random ass bags on the table to hide her fucking baby bump, bitch. But it was everything. Let me tell you something about Cyrus. Cyrus is a messy queen, a faggot scorned bitch, and I would know. We are something serious when it comes to getting the things that we need. Cyrus had that ass shot, and I, he, bitch, he kept up the act. He was shaking for fucking two days, bitch. I was not buying that from that messy ass bottom. Cyrus, you are not fooling me, girl. Carrie looks sickening with these red ass gloves like she dipped it in somebody's blood. Papa Pope is still Papa Pope. I'm moving on to how to get away with murder, bitch. When Wes said that shit, I'm talking about, oh, the condom wouldn't have broke if I was, if I wasn't so big. I must have gotten a little bit wet. Annalise, I'm really mad as fuck that her superpowers of being a sickening ass lawyer has gone away. She's shook. Uh, she barely spoke a word this whole episode. I don't know what the hell's going on. She's going to break. Both of these shows have me on the edge of my goddamn seat. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. So Trump's beanbag shape head ass said, you know what, girl? Instead of using maybe $25 billion to go ahead and find the cure for HIV because we're fucking sending shit to Pluto and shit. We're, we have Hubble telescopes that can see light years away and shit like that. Bitch, we walking on the moon and shit, but we haven't found a cure to... Okay, sis, instead of using $25 billion to, you know, maybe try and find the cure to, for cancer, instead of using these $25 billion to enhance our fucking trash ass education, because she is trash, instead of using this to improve the lives of Americans when it comes to their health care, instead of doing that, we're going to put up a useless ass motherfucking wall, bitch. We're going to put... Wall. That doesn't make any goddamn sense because let me tell you something. He said in order for this wall to be paid for, we're gonna have a 20% tax on any imports coming from Mexico. Girl, you stupid. That shit still means that we gonna pay for it. Follow me because this is this will be a destructive ass cycle if this is put into play. 20% tax on shit from Mexico. That means that American people ain't gonna want to fucking buy shit from Mexico. That means that Mexico ain't gonna be getting as much money from the United States. That means that Mexico will become poor. Poorer. That means that people who are already coming from Mexico illegally because of the poor state of their country or wherever they were living in that country will be coming over more often if their country gets poorer, girl. What the fuck are you thinking? These bitches are so stuck in their bubbles of power, privilege, and money that they don't even want to take their asses down to where the fuck they're going to be affecting and see and really investigate the issues that can probably arise from it, bitch. If you continue to make it difficult to do business with our neighboring country, bitch, that po that hope probably gonna get poorer and the people who are experiencing poverty and pain in that country are just gonna continue to try to find a way to come. Girl, let me tell you something. A lot of you bitches who haven't gone through shit in your life really feel like, oh, just building one barrier, building one wall, putting more security around this area is just gonna stop these people from coming. I can tell that you bitches haven't been through shit in your life because let me tell you something. Desperate times call for fucking desperate ass measures. These hoes re who really think that their lives will improve when they come over here, when they fucking living in areas that just are brutal to their human bodies, bitch. If you're desperate, you gonna find a way to make some shit work. I'm sorry. It is what it is. So you hoes might catch yourself wanting to put a paper wall in front of these hoes, bitch. They will bust right through that shit. They will bust right through it. So instead of doing some dumb shit, what we need to do is find a way to fix a broken ass immigration system and to help improve the economies of the suffering ass countries that are trying to do better. Would you want to take your ass up out of your own home to
to go to a foreign land where you don't know the language? No, the fuck you wouldn't. But if your ass can't eat over here, you gonna find a way to make some shit work. You bitches are not seeing the fact that yes, I, I don't think we can accept everybody in the whole world in America just because it's not physically possible. It's just, it wouldn't be sustainable. But I'm saying if we can find a way to improve the lives of people around the world, they wouldn't feel the need to all oh, just rush from places they've known their whole lives, places they're comfortable, and, and come into this area. So people like Trump, you're just not fucking thinking. You're not thinking about the ramifications, the long-term effects of what the fuck you're talking about. Using taxpayer money to possibly create a chain reaction that can fuck a lot of economies up. I'm just, I'm tired of it.